Okay, so Brett just told you about our chapter two accomplishments, and we want to kind of walk you through what we've done in the, are you ready for it? The, where's, oh, there it is, the north wing. Okay, so let's do it. But this is a really cool, you know, um, improvement, if you will. Ah, big monster size kitchen. I mean, we're talking, we can cook just about anything in here you need to. Big gas ranges, ovens, it's your basic full service kitchen. So we finally have one at LaCroix, well needed. We know we eat a lot of food around here, so. Okay, I think we're done with the kitchen. Let's check out the rest of this. Next up on the tour, youth ministry offices. This has actually been several offices, but it currently is youth ministry. Hi, Jane, how are you working hard at it today? Yep, so anyway, come on back. I'm gonna see what else is going on back here. And there's Fitz. Hey, Jeff. <laughs> What's happening? Busy at work, as you said, it's classic. Yes, you are. <laughs> okay, let's let Fitz get back to work. Um, I'm gonna show you another space over here. It's kind of a newer space for us. It's for the With Open Arms Ministry. It's for our uh, kids with special needs. It gives them a place to worship. It's kind of cool. Old timers, you remember there was Noah's Ark in here? The Ark is no more, it's sailed. So, but we do have a space for everyone to kind of hang. So let's continue in the back rooms here. So one of the main focuses was to renovate the former children's ministry space to adult and youth educational space. We also wanted to provide for medium and large group teaching areas as we expand the spiritual formation opportunities. Ta-da! This is kind of a cool space. I already showed you one monster kitchen. This is kind of a medium-sized kitchen. It's not quite done yet. Uh, room for a dishwasher and a stove. And so while this serves as a kitchen, it's really for pre-prepared food. So you can roll the window up and you can kind of serve any other room. So if you've got it made already and need to distribute, ta-da. If you dropped your kids off here over the years or you were a youth and used to come up here for things, this is actually the old studio. Okay, and then we've kind of saved the best for last. So to make a lot of these spaces possible, we had to remove and add several walls. We can hold a ton of people in here. So what's cool about this space is if you remember, there was a castle probably right about here with a big slide that went down. And if you guys ever heard of the star room or got to see it, it was actually right about here in the center of the room. You can actually darken the room up, make it look a little more cozier. Uh, for instance, the encounter is going on here tonight, so we're gonna have a lot of folks in here in just a few hours. But really, we just wanted to show you today that as you walk down this hallway, you can see we've added a lot of classrooms, a lot of meeting spaces for adults and youth for adult education and for any of the large groups that want to meet, but kind of progress. Hey, hey, what's, what's, what's in that door? Um, <laughs> this one is a little bit harder to explain, but when our construction workers were here, I'll show it to, we keep it locked by the way. Um, when our constructors were here, they kind of tapped into a wormhole to another dimension. Oh, cool. Okay, so we've really only shown you about half of the meeting spaces that have been renovated. Uh, I'd like to encourage you to come down and check it out, and thank you for the contributions you made to Chapter 2 to make this all possible.